Today is Saturday, December 23rd, 2023, and I'm going to begin the elevator assembly. So what I like about this elevator assembly in the plans is, you know, previously you had to put everything together, like take this and just lay it out on the workbench. But with the plans, they do, they break it into sections. So uh, this is the elevator spar, which I just completed putting that together. It didn't take very long at all. And so this will go in stages, like I said. And the next thing we're going to do here is, so this is going to be the elevator control horn. Just completed the swing arm assembly or control horn. Uh, pretty straightforward. The only real challenge with this was there is a, this is a 997. And it's right up against this plate right here. And that thing is hard to get the, uh, can't get the pneumatic tool up against that very well, so had to use the, um, this is the pneumatic tool. This it just hits right here. So I had to use a hand squeezer on that one. So it didn't come out as pretty, but it, it's effective. And then on the bottom bolt, the AN3, and this is actually the bottom. Torque that down to 20 to 25 inch pounds, and then put the torque seal indicator on there and uh, Moving on to the next one. As I'm assembling the elevator uh, assembly here, I'm beginning to install the ribs and some gussets. And there is a some doublers here on the back. Um, and then there's, some, there's a specific larger rivet that goes in these holes. There should be 12 on each side. And I'm looking at that. That's actually a 991 rivet. I'm looking on the paper plans. It says 991 times 12. But there's only four arrows pointing at that specific point. I wasn't looking that closely at it, and I actually went in and, and installed all 12 across here and all 12 on the other side, and it just it just didn't set right with me that I'm looking at that 12X, but it's only pointing to four. So I said, okay, let's go back over to another resource, and that's what these resources are good for. Evan Brun Ye's videos for the Sling TSI Build Kit Guide, and he talks about these are four rivets right here. The, they only put four in now. You're gonna put the other, uh, 16 in which would be when the skin gets installed so those are some of the things that uh, I've encountered and it's helping me get better and better at uh, com uh, you know confirming what I'm doing cross-referencing everything and ultimately we'll just make this a better build so as I am skinning the elevator there are several discussions out there about the rod that goes into the piano hinge and needing to shorten it about five or six millimeters so that it goes further into the um, extruded piece and then drilling a 1 16th inch hole and then installing some 1 32nd safety wire into the end of that, that uh, piano hinge so the rod doesn't work out and doing the same thing as well on the other end. So that's just my just the process I used for taking care of that situation. There are nearly 60 some, I think it might even be 70 some of these 998 rivets that need to be shortened on the trim tab and on the trailing edge of the elevator. So you've got about 10 millimeters of length on this rivet. And so you have to remove the rivet itself from the mandrel, I don't know if you can see that. Mandrel comes out, the rivet gets shortened right up to about that, that notch, which is about five millimeters. Well, it actually gives you five millimeters of pull length. So I'll show you what I did to kind of speed up that process. So in this vise, I've taken a piece of bushing material. This is a quarter inch steel bushing material and I cut off five millimeters of that bushing material. I've set it in the vise. And so what I'll do here is I'll take the rivet, drop it into here, give it a few taps. Take the needle nose pliers, pull out the mandrel, and now I have a rivet that I can uh, use now to be shortened.
Earlier I said 60 or 70 rivets. It's actually about 35, pretty close to that number. So now I take that same piece of uh, steel quarter inch bushing material, put it into these small vice grips. I can now take uh, the rivet mandrel, or the, actually the rivet itself, push it through there, and I'll use my uh, bandsaw here to cut off that remaining piece. So I probably will need to either run a drill bit through there or I might you just use my uh, deburring tool. I think I can get in there with my deburring tool and then we'll set these back into the mandrels. And now using the same piece of uh, quarter inch bushing material, I'll put it back into the vise. I'll set the rivet on top. Take the mandrel, put the pointy end, obviously, into the mandrel. Give it some taps with the hammer. Make sure it's all the way seated on the end. Pull it out. And so that's what it looks like. So it's all ready to go. And now the elevator has been completed. Um, I've got the elevator tips installed. The uh, counterweight, which is up here, that's been installed on both sides. Um, this is the other tip. Uh, swing arm bracket is installed. Let's see, um, I'll show you where these uh, shorter rivets went in. Like, for example, here's a shorter rivet. On the other side is a shorter rivet. All This whole row here on the trim tab are those shortened rivets here. And then there's also a couple places like right here where you see there's a hinge right there. So when you push a full rivet size through there, it hits the top of that hinge. So you have to use a short rivet there, short rivet uh, here. And I'm trying to think there's a couple other places too, but it's pretty evident when you push the rivet in and it won't go all the way through, you need to use the shorter rivet. So that's the uh, elevator and that completes the uh, empennage. And so next we'll be starting on the wings.